Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you two options how you can check the authorizations for a transaction. And the most common and the ob most obvious uh, option is to use the ABAP statement authority minus check. I've made an own video about the ABAP statement authority check. Um, I will link you this so you can um, watch this video um, afterwards if you would like to get to know more about the authority check statement. Um, but basically to use the authority check for transactions you have to use um, the authorization object as underscore t code. Um, I recommend to use the patterns because as you see right now um, you have this uh, statement, this construct build it for you automatically so you don't have to type in all manually the statements and within the field uh, here you type in your transaction code so for example mm01 and basically if you want to you can also use an addition for user and then type in the username if you want to not need it right now uh, but basically here uh, what am i checking so within here um, i would just like uh, to write uh, no authorizations um, here you can if you want to um, write it with more words what you like to but if i have authorization then i just would like to print out success um, yeah, so basically uh, this is what, I, what I'm doing. I'm using the authorization object as underscore T code with the forward navigation. So double click, uh, you end up in the SU21 and can analyze the authorization object more closely, especially the authorization fields. Once again, double click, then you will end up in here and can analyze it more closely. And now well, what happens if I execute this, it says success, I am able to execute the transaction MM01. So let's test this MM01 and that's great. I can call this transaction. So yeah, this is per working perfectly fine. So what is the uh, alternative? What you also can do is you can call a function module. And once again, I recommend to use the pattern. And within here, you can call the auth check uh, t code function module and then within here uh, the uh, function module with the um, with all the export exceptions and so on will be put into here and i would just like to enter mm01 once again as a literal and within here you can basically yeah, react on this uh, exceptions so for example if you have some kind of parameter error if the trans given transaction is not found if the transaction is currently locked uh, if the transaction is in is in a menu um if uh, yeah and so on or basically if you don't have have the authorizations um, so therefore here you can uh, react on this and I just would like to use the same construct um, of course you can react on the different exceptions with a case statement I think this is uh, for sure um, but now I just would like to see what happens within this so once again I just check it and um, now I executed with f8 and we can see that now it has a success message so um yeah i have the given or needed authorization yeah and basically once again you have two possibilities with the authorization check itself and with the function module auth check t code but by the way, um, of course, um, I've made an own video how you can check authorization objects for a transaction because what is just checked uh, that you are able to call the transaction itself, but there are some related authorization objects for a transaction. I've made an own video. I will link you through if you're interested and would like to get to know more about this. Yeah, and basically, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next video.